I'm basing for Leonardo Chains. We are in for the people to vote in Georgia. Uniting for Change with support from Sangha Unity Network and the Georgia Advocacy Office believes that voting is one way we use our voice for change. The election is important. We are electing two senators to represent us in Washington, D.C. and a public service commissioner. You can vote in person on election day, Tuesday, January 5th, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. If y'all have voted, thank you. If you have already returned your absentee ballot through the mail, by placing it in a ballot drop box or in person at your election office, it is important that you track your ballot to make sure it was accepted. To track your ballot and see if your vote counted, go to georgia.ballottracks.net. The rest I will ask self information. They will ask for your first names, Thanks. your last names, Thanks. your third zip code. Put this information in the spaces provided, then click register login. This will take you to a second page where you will be able to see if your ballot was counted. If counted, you will see a green circle and the word completed, along with specific information on the date your ballot was accepted. If you see this green circle. Congratulations. If your vote count, is the one off election? If there is a red or orange circle, there may be an issue with your ballot. And we want to make sure you know what you can do if your vote was rejected or if your vote was not accepted. With the red or orange circle, you'll see a notification about why there is an issue. Often this is due to a missing signature on the ballot envelope, or it could be that your county was unsure if your signature matches what they have on file. So if it says your ballot was rejected, what can you do? You will take steps to cure your ballots. First, Go to this website to find a mail signature cure form. The website is bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y backslash cure ballot G-A. Print this form. On the form, you will see where you need to put your signature, your address, and the name of the county where you live. With this form, you need to make a copy of your current valid ID. Both the form and the copy of your ID need to be sent to your local elections office. You can send it by email, by fax, or deliver it in person. We don't suggest mailing it in since election day is Tuesday. To find your Board of Election office in your county, Google Board of Election and the name of your county. Here you'll get the address for your election office and a phone number. You can take your cure form and the copy of your ID in person, or you can call them to make sure you have the correct fax number or email to send it to them. Please get your mail, cure C form, Copy your ID, your local collection quickly. You can only have until close of business on Friday, January the 8th, 2021, to cure your violence. Here is a list of the identification forms that are acceptable to send with your ballot cure form. A Georgia driver's license, a valid photo ID card issued by any state of Georgia entity or another state or anywhere in the US, 
a valid U.S. passport, a valid government employee photo ID, a valid U.S. military ID card with photo, a valid tribal ID card with photo, or it could be a current utility bill showing your name and address or a current government check or paycheck that shows your name and address or a current government document that also shows your name and address or finally you could submit a current bank statement that shows your name and address. Thank you for voting. Checking on the absentee bag. From now through election day, voters with disabilities who have election related issues can call the Georgia Advocacy Office for assistance.